and chillies, my name is Jack Sufsky and welcome back to Batman from Telltale. The new episode is out and it's episode 3. It's called New World Order with Gotham on the brink and Bruce under fire. A new generation of supervillains rise to prominence and threaten to overturn the traditional institutions of power. So we have good old uh, Cobblepot here, Penguin. So uh, I'm interested to see what happened and in the last one I, I saved Catwoman and then Harvey became Two-Face, so I'm interested to see how that's going to progress this time and there was a lot of discussion over whether who I should have saved or not, which is fine because that's what this series is all about and trying to see what decision I make in this type of thing and then going off and see what other decisions are and everything. It's fun! I, I like these types of things, so let's get in. Start episode three. We'll probably get a, a recount of what happened in the last episode. Just to refresh your little mind holes. Hopefully, because some of it... I kind of forget. It was a shorter episode last time. So I'm curious to see if this one is short as well. Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Oh, yeah! Least of all those you call friend. Your parents look that <laughs> They're waiting for you in hell! Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Cobblepot wants retribution <laughs> because we took his family's land. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Let's get out of here. REJECTED! <laughs> Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. So sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there? Yes! Yeah. Oh, Thank you for volunteering. I downtrodden brothers and sisters of God. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. <laughs> yeah, poor Harv. <laughs> okay, so now we're all caught up. I forgot about the whole, um, the poison thing and the children of Arkham thing that was going on. Because all I could remember was the last scenario with Harvey and everything. Woo! I want to know who's behind the mask. Is it F Society? Is it Mr. Robot? <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching Mr. Robot recently. So good. Mayor Dent. You know, I always assumed Harvey would win, but... Not like this. Won by default. He's probably pissed he didn't get his landslide fair and <laughs> square. Hey. Harvey's going to be okay. You don't know that. I just... I keep wondering. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Harvey's your best friend. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, I just don't get it. I just gotta be quiet. I don't know what to say. Fine. I have... Forget it. I have my reasons. I don't think I can do this. What are you talking about? I don't want to see what... I just can't, okay? I have to go. Wait, you think he's gonna have some like two I'm faces sorry. or something? Just go in without me. Harvey needs you <laughs> right now. Do it for him. I'm sorry, Bruce. I wish I could. You can. It's my fault he's in there. I don't have anything to say to him that would make this better. Please, Bruce. Don't tell him I was here. It's I don't think he'd understand. It's not your fault. It's not really my fault Gotham either. Is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. 
After a rather lackluster election, Mayor Dent was sworn in from his hospital bed. Word is he's still recovering from major hey, injuries Bruce. sustained at the event. So, dude. So sorry, Harvey. Harvey, I am so sorry this happened. Hey, come on. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, I'm sorry anyway. I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, my family, we heal quick. See, this is how the Phantom of the Opera it's, should have dressed. It's what's on the inside that counts, right? You'll always be beautiful to me, Harv. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, that's what they tell the girl who doesn't get asked to prom. <laughs> yeah. Easy, I appreciate the effort, though. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... His flowers. <laughs> I brought you some flowers. <laughs> though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. Ugh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. Oh, she was just I out! thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me. Right. Nothing else. <laughs> Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Guess I can't blame her. Oh, I don't want to betray her now. trust. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. You'll hear from her. No, I'm making all the wrong choices. You to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Look at me, preaching it. What a great guy you are while I go and get my face bashed in. It's easy. Every news station is showing it. Just regurgitating the same old sound bites. Don't do this to yourself. There's nothing you can do to change what happened. Replaying that moment will only drive you crazy. Yeah, I know that. But here I am. Trust me. You need to stop. I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. Couldn't do anything. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of us. So is he actually point. gonna turn into Two Face or is he gonna be Mayor Two Face? I'm gonna let him yeah, vent. Can, he needs to get it out. I can still hear him laughing. He needs somebody to talk to. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. Who is he? I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was Remember, just the Remember, I'm next. Step. What? They're after me. They're not gonna rest until all the names are crossed off their list. <coughs> I can't just stand aside and let that happen. The tonight speech, they'll know where I stand. Wait, wait, wait tonight? I, I thought you were supposed to be recovering. My assistant is on her way to pick me up. At the election, I was able to talk the hospital into releasing me early. <sighs> not that they're too happy about it. All the doctors keep telling me to take it easy, but how can I? You have half a face! Well, stay in the chair, Mr. Dent. Oh, don't overexert yourself, Mr. Dent. Do what you need to. Do what you need to do, Harvey. I don't know. I know how important this election is to you. Thanks. I'm glad to know that someone around here understands that. Come on, you do the same in my position. Which is why I won't even try to tell you to not look into those tapes. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot, Hill admitting to having both of them killed, it's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't uh, mean The Cobblepots are friends! Oswald and I were best friends when we were kids. I knew his mother. Talked to her. <sighs> Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. Thanks, Harvey. You did what you had to do. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate that. I'll make it up to you. If someone says something nice to you, you should say thank you. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD. Uh, I have to go! <laughs> suddenly! Get the guy's <laughs> attention. <laughs> Feeling very sick. <laughs> Bye, Harvey! Man, look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? 
What else do you have to do? Alfred needs me. <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. Technically, it's not a lie. Alfred did message me. You, uh, you rest up, Harv. Thanks, Bruce. He still seems in good spirits, though. Wonder if he's just gonna get driven mad. Oh, he turned it off. Or if, like, bam! Or if, like, Oswald is gonna come in and do like the whole Joker in the Dark Knight thing and be like, hmm, inject a little anarchy. Ha! Ah. That's not my Joker impression, by the way. <laughs> Unit six in pursuit of suspects westbound on Fifteenth Street. Cool. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, alright? Uh, I'm trying! Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. Hello! <laughs> I have to go. Backup just arrived. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad I got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. Oh, so the bad so, symbol wasn't a thing are. until right now. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. Oh! I have good ones every now and then. That's why they're acting so I'd weird to it. you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Renee Montoya, one of my officers. I remember her? tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. Uh -huh. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash. Went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? Children come out of everywhere. I've never heard of them before. <clears throat> then that debate. You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll bring him in for questioning. You didn't see... Gordon, this is Schultz. Oh, Over. yeah, he had a mask on. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. But I just saw him! Somehow. He was fine! I'm on it. Aw, oh, Harvey, what are you doing? You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. <laughs> Launch the nukes! Chris has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? A friend who can help us. That friend got a name? Uh... All right, patching you through Farical. to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance. But seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. So I like to hear, my man. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Damn. Like x-ray peering. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. I <laughs> like one of the options was, why haven't I had this already? They might be. Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Hmm. Listen to you. Ah, oh, damn! Let's listen to Harvey. Please, just leave it. It's not gonna get any better. But, but you're bleeding. Then let Gotham see it. Is that? No, I told you it's fine. That car's been behind us since the hospital. God, is this guy trying to drive us off the Ah, oh, shit, do I have to decide who I have to go after? What the? Oh, damn it! 
<laughs> he's probably fine. No need to worry about good old Harvey. He's probably cool, right? Uh, I'ma just listen to Renee. <laughs> Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight. So, it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! <laughs> there she is! <laughs> okay. I... <laughs> I'm gonna travel to Harvey. I know Renee is in more trouble because there seems to be more of them and everything. And she's the one that messed up last time and I feel bad for her. But I'm going for Harvey mainly because I didn't go from last episode and I feel bad for that as well. So I'm just gonna go for Harvey this time. It's my decision and it's fine. Got. Your guys are gonna have to handle Montoya. Yeah, cause you know her. I'll round up what offices is. I can. Gonna have to head out there myself too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Episode three. It's requesting backup. Corner of Fifteenth and Main. New World Order. That's I fucking got a major cool. Disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. I like the setup to the episodes. I like the way the text comes up and everything. Episode 3! I'm Batman! <laughs> How badass I am. The chiseled jaw. Why don't my drones have like anti personnel rounds? Listen, I don't want any trouble. You're too late, Dent. <laughs> Boosty boost! Or not. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hello! Oh. There you go! <laughs> What's he wearing? <laughs> I mean, I get it. It just looked. I, I, I don't know. I expected him to be Two Face for some reason, and now he just has like the Phantom of the Opera thing on. <laughs> Damn, I'm such a fucking badass. Yes! I can smell the shit in your pants already. You should be scared. Just punch him. Tell me where your leader is. No more, Mister Nice Back. That all depends on you, Batman. Why? Let's threaten him. I don't want to hurt him again. Not too much. Don't make me hurt you. Start talking, and I'll hand you over to the police in one piece. The rights. Go ahead. There's nothing the cops can do that we won't know about. Including every time Gordon uses you as his errand boy. What's going on? <laughs> Everyone alright? You look so silly! Get the hell away from us. I'm the mayor now and things are gonna change around here. Starting with people like you. This city is a battleground. Gotham does not need you taking matters into your own hands. You make these freaks think it's okay. You're in danger. The children of Arkham will come after you again. Don't pretend like you care for my safety. You showed me where you stood back at the debate. Hey, hey, come, come, come on, let's go. I'll call us a cab. This is my city now, not yours. Heads up, they got three black and whites headed for the handoff. Gordon's with them. Uh, bye, I guess. <laughs> you want you want a lift? Too late, sorry. Car's gone. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Alfred. Are you alright? Yeah. But they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. Oh god, the game is locking up. Why? I need an update on the construction site. Bringing it up now. Coming to you. Everybody take cover. You'd better get down there. On my way. Oh no, why is everything freezing up? Stop that! Just go! Go go to the point and do the thing! Yeah! Okay, seems to be good now. I was half contemplating stopping it and just starting the recording again. Sad it. 
I'm Batman, and I'm you here to have say. Even been here, Lieutenant. I did this. Shouting about it isn't going to do him any good. Sure could have used your help ten minutes ago. Nice work. Just stroll in to survey. The I'm place. fucking sorry. What we need. I'm sorry. I can't be everywhere at once. Sure. Tell me what happened. <laughs> that was easy. Got away. Took one of our guys with him. Go ahead. Say it. This is my fault. I followed them. I got ambushed. And now one of our own is stuck with those monsters. Yeah, it, it is your fault, but you had good intentions. You were trying to track down their drug shipment. Sure, things got messy, but that's not your fault. Your intentions were good. I got the force involved. Cost other people their lives. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Wait, uh, stop! You didn't... I'll make this right. I promise. You know what? I would be sad, but she Never has a point. Answers. Hand it to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, to command. command. Anyone there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? It's been compromised. You copy? Oh, Batman time. I'm gonna put my bat USB in here. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. Dude, it's like a Tesla! He like the predator arm thing and he just summoned a Tesla right next to him. That was so cool! I want a Tesla. Actually, I need a driver's license first. <laughs> Can't just go out and get a car. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh God, the fucking Batmobile scenes keep messing up. I'm sorry. Bruce? Yes? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. God damn, that's annoying. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. Stop glitching out! I'm sorry. We're, well, we're still getting the story anyway. It's, it's just coming lagging. up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, please do, yes, and get out of this right fucking away. Batmobile. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate, <sighs> unnecessary suspense. Um. Oh God, come on! Lucius will have answers. Let me pick! I'm not sure of anything right now, but Lucius will have answers. God I damn, man! We've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Hopefully, it doesn't sink us, sir. This or not a Titanic, Alfred. Cam fucked out. Lucius on the line now. Lucius! Homeboy! Oh, so you there. I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. How messy are we talking exactly? I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? That's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Got it. Sorted. I'm getting it done. Jacko Boy's on the case. Already on my way. Kick it into high gear. Man, that's annoying. Sorry about that. I don't know why it does that. It seems to be just the Batmobile sections. Ah, oh, cool music. <laughs> Morning, boys. People are not happy with me. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Hello? Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. They die hard! I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha... She was such a delight to have around. Oh, thanks for reminding me of my dead parents. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. 
You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. I have several this questions! Is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to Fucking hear. Fucking politics! The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall... Then go tell that to the board. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bruce? I'm not your enemy. You should remember that. Don't forget who your allies are, Mr. Wayne. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. It's just so weird how you can be like Wayne Enterprises. You can be the inheritor of all that stuff, and then it's like, yeah, we're we're outing you from the company. Sorry. Unlock lab access. Horse to King Queen Checkmate! And the best at chess. And the chest at best. <laughs> Terrible jokes. <laughs> oh, I get to press a button. Ooh, my own panic room. Oof. Ooh, I want it. Oh, I'd love a secret man cave like that, where you just go into the or bat cave, I guess I should call it. Um, like you just go into the into an elevator in your home, or you go to the bathroom and it just scans your eye in the mirror and all of a sudden the sink turns into an elevator and you go downstairs into your own personal cinema. Ah, oh, the dream! It's good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. Then why were you so insistent? The gonna take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. That's I know true. The cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. It doesn't matter what the board does. We'll be fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Try saying that when you can't access this wing anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? Hackers. It's Wayne Tech Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech? You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news? It is Mr. Robot! Uh, you're not gonna like it. Bad news. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, just call me you a see moron? this back door they're using. I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. Damn, I'm a one- Alfred is like a hundred years old and he's a texting wizard! Look how fast we text! Children American hacked into Wayne Tech. That's how they're listening to the police. This is worse than I thought. I'll contact the station. I've encrypted our access. Fingers of lightning! I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains. How did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. I trust the cops raided the manor. They seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. 
I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We better lock this stuff down, just in case. Hmm. Also, you guys say Children of Arkham a lot. And you probably shouldn't just have Batman's cow lying around. Even though it's hard for somebody to come down here, just having it around just kind of confirms suspicions. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Again! Why is this not all standard already? The bat grapple. I'm sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. The bapple. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. She stole my heart. <laughs> the battering. You're so cool. I want, I want batarangs. I'm gonna look up online to see if I can actually buy metal batarangs from like Batman Begins because those are my favorite looking ones. The like little tiny shuriken looking ones that look like they could actually stick in the wall. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Again, feels like we kind of should have had this. I mean, if we're going to send drones out to survey people, don't make them the big giant ones that people use to, like, capture 4K footage. Make them cool and subtle. Like little bat. Why aren't they in the shapes of bats? I'm gonna look at the table. I was mm. wondering why you had a table that could hide itself. Bat table! Yes, it's coming in pretty handy now. <laughs> Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. I just... I love the thought. I love the joke of calling everything bat. It's like, I'm recording this bat let's play on this bat camera with my bat microphone. Hey, look, it's a bat mouse. <laughs> I'm just going to go up and have myself some bat flakes. I'll be down in a bat minute. <laughs> a new sticky bomb I developed. Sticky bomb! The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. That's pretty neat. Boom. Nice. <laughs> be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. I'm gonna just put it in my pants pocket then. <laughs> so silly. It was just like, boom! Nice. <laughs> God, I love this game. Oh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. It just gives him a big back hug. Oh, Lucius, you old son of a gun. <laughs> Make me cry. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Connect four! Connect four is up in the corner. <laughs> okay, I'm just- I know I could probably just talk to Lucius and do a whole bunch of shit or- Ooh, hide gadgets. Ooh. Whoa! It's not really very hidden. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... What? Here. Get that back to the bat computer. <laughs> It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. I'm Bruce. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Yeah, fuck Regina. Yeah. Batman's a lot like James Bond in a way. You have Q to help you build your gadgets. Why is my stuff knocked down? The chess pieces are moved. It's away. There was a chess piece on the ground. Ruth, open up. What? I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. 
At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. So who's going to replace me? I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. God damn! There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. It's okay. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. No. Feeling all huggable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. How about a man with two? They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Don't tell me Cobblepot. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oh, it's Oswald. Oh, it's fucking Snarky Oswald McGee. Cobblepot. Oh! Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. What a th As fuck. you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole Don't from like the it. Cobblepot family. Don't well, like the board it. thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. His People voice sounds different. Much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine, Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. Is that a different voice joke, actor? Right? You're not qualified to run a company now Bruce is that any way to treat an old friend I'm just trying to help the board has complete confidence in mr. Cobblepot I don't As his resume goes into great detail his endeavors in England have been quite successful besides the company basically runs itself at this point the CEO is mostly a figurehead don't make this harder than it has to be Fine. I'm not going to be able to stop it anyway. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Tiny? Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Uh-oh. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. She's acting weird all of a sudden. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Pick it up. Now. But, uh, it's all right. Bruce has been through enough today, hasn't he? Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Oh, like your face is going to be! Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. You're not getting away with this. I'll make sure of it. Oh? Oh, is that a threat? Yep. I'm terrified. I don't need to threaten you. This way, Bruce. God damn! He does sound like a different voice, though. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Fucking asshole! I hate Cobblepot! He sucks! Didn't it? Yeah. They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there. He Bruce. knew. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I, I don't know. Lucius, 
I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. Damn. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you whatever. I, yeah, I need somebody in the business. I could get him to come work for me, but I have Alfred and everything. I need someone no, inside. Lucius, I need you to stay here. But you're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Um, bat eyes Keep and bat Oswald ears. Out of R and D, and let me know if anything comes up. <clears throat> Keep that drive safe. Okay, thank you, Lucius. Appreciate you, bro. Don't crash, Mr. Game. I know you want to. There we go. I had a, I had a game. There you go. Stop responding Bruce there for a second. Bruce will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. I didn't more decide. In a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. Oh! There's so many bro TPs going on in this episode! Uh, uh, Lieutenant Gord, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. Of course. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin Slippery, all right. Our Penguin the Slippery? Of accessing Wayne Tech. I have to figure out what their next move is. I want to know what a penguin actually feels like. What would the what's the surface of a penguin feel like? Is it fuzzy, slippery, gritty, kind of sandpapery? I actually have no idea. I guess they're a little bit fuzzy. They have little feathers on them. Because they are birds after all, but they're like very short, sleek feathers. I want to touch a penguin. Codex. No, because he's broke the game for me before, so I just want to get Lucius's drive. Just a bunch of pictures of him in underwear. <clears throat> Bring up a searchable <coughs> network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. Yes, do that thing. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. <laughs> They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. Okay, Arkham Asylum. <clears throat> Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. It's an interesting take on the whole Batman mythos. That his parents were evil. I mean, it might turn around in the end that they weren't evil or something like that. But the way, the way they're introducing it, I kind of like it. I, I know a lot of people don't because they think it's ruining the Batman mythology and everything, but it's it's nice to shake things up now and again. And they're handling it pretty well, I think. We'll see how things go from now on. Uh, let's listen to City Hall. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time, but... statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Yo. Are you done here, sir? No. Give me a minute. Not yet. Why well, listen to other things. There's like loads more stuff going on. Listen to GCPD. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is 
ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. I like Jim. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. I also like whenever somebody talks, they have a little icon for them, like a Facebook profile picture. <laughs> Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Oh, look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. Everybody has bad shit on the record. Well, bad shit. Like, not murder or anything like that. But everybody has a blemish on the record somewhere. We've all done dumb shit. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Oh. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. See you later. Ah, whoa, she! So how does Alfred always call in to the GCPD to give them tips? Are they all anonymous tips every single time? Don't they get a little suspicious? <clears throat> nice pictures. It's a stark reminder of what his face used to look like, though. Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. Hello. You can go on in. Thanks. Appreciate I'm it. Back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. <laughs> uh, Harvey? Harvers? Back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. Everything's you, uh, what? you need some help back there? Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. What's going on? Well, it's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. Hmm. It looks badass. I'm glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? Um, would I didn't you... keep you waiting <clears throat> that long, did I? You're in danger. Wayne Tech is compromised. I just found out Wayne Tech is compromised. The children of Arkham are using it to track the GCBD. You could be next. But Wayne Tech is everywhere. If they can hack into it, that's why they have to be safe. They've seen my Look porn history. Thank you, Bruce. <clears throat> oh, it sounds gross. Damn it! Those children of ours can jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. I can't stop it. This can't continue. What are you going to do to stop him? Not enough. Never enough. Oh, he's changing. Harvey Dent does everything by the book. To the letter of the law. But that isn't working. I'm sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Gollum. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Harvey, snap out of it. We all need to snap out of it. <laughs> Sorry. So sorry about that, Bruce. I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. The stress. It's just the stress. Did you really mean all that? What you said? Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, it's all over. Everything I've worked for. 
Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. Oh! Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. It's very weird, though, how he just changed. Like, there's no motivation See for around, it. Bruce. There's no coercion. It's just like, oh, I have a scared face, so now all of a sudden, I have two personalities? Is that what happens in, like, the comics as well? Does he just change? An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. I'm not gonna read it. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. Oh. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? Unlikely. I stonewalled her at the GCPD after Falcone was shot. Oh, yeah. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. It's Batman. I want to talk. Who... who is this? I'm Batman! Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. But Cobblepot Park. <laughs> Deal. Hmm. She didn't write very much. All she did was put lines down. Guy, Vicky. What's happening, darling? Hello. <laughs> Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. Uh, no, they're terrorists. You saw what they did at the debate. I should have told they're her to turn it off. Gotham. That's all there is to it. Yeah, some say they're liberating it. And you believe that? Well, it doesn't matter what I believe. I just report the facts. Sure. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Yeah. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer. Yeah, his family, not family. him. He everyone. didn't do it. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way. He just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. 
All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. I handle bigger threats. He'll pay his debts. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. But you didn't get the side that you're missing! I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. See how I whooshed? We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but. Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please don't tell anyone I gave this to you. That's what she said! You wouldn't want people letting I wouldn't you wouldn't want me letting people know how to get a hold of you. It's like you don't know how to get a hold of me. I contacted you anonymously. Skytrain Depot, Highland Line. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's go kick some ice. Oh, it's cool looking. Why does it give me the time of day? It's irrelevant. By which I mean Everything's I can. It's dark, quiet. It's empty. I can tell the time of day just by the lighting. They may not have gone far. They'll show eventually. Yeah, I don't doubt you. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks, Thanks. Alfred. Go and have a look around. Oh man, I'm so good at whooshing. Whooshing. There's whooshing. a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Ooh, can I use my bat senses? Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> look at body. Oh, he had the serum. For a while, from the looks of it, the officer that was taken from the construction site shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible! There's something else. This man's veins—they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged. Only, there's so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. Oh, there's duh. no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? In the air! Why do you think Penguin was wearing a gas mask? He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. I'm not seeing any gunshot wounds. I they no longer had need of a hostage. Okay. I can't link that to anything yet, so we'll go look at a map. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. Yeah, because wasn't the whole thing like... I go back to Batman Begins again. They were putting the, the drug in the water, and then they used a Wayne Tech weapon to aerosolize it. And then it was all in the air and it drove Gotham mad, that kind of thing. So maybe they're using trains to spread it around. This depot is pretty centrally located. Timer parts? See? They're setting off a bomb! A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Yeah. Um, is there anything else I can look at? Ooh, barrels. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. So can I link this to this? Link! What exactly are they planning to release? Okay, I, I did it. 
So, what do I connect the Mercy one with? Okay, let me see if I can actually look around still. Ooh, hello! Someone's been practicing chemistry. It's Walter White! They're making meth! Whoa! I want it! This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Is this it? <laughs> Something spilled here. I want that! This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Mm hmm. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Uh, it has a big giant chemical tank on it. Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. So just... The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. Yeah. Just send the train down and open up the sprinkler. And it'll just spray it everywhere as it's going down its line. Very clever. Um... Okay, is that all of them? So I think I can link you... Back over here to my friendly stations. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. Can I just link you to you? Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this? Is that it? There's more? But I don't see any more! Okay, can I link you? How do I cancel the link? Um, I can't apparently. Link, cancel? No, no bueno, Linko? Ooh, break link. Break link. So I can't break link on this. So that one must be right then. Okay. Break link and break link. Can I link you to you? Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. And I can't break that link anymore, so... I'm assuming that that means it's correct. Hopefully. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug. So just Children spray it and then it gets on your skin and it gets inside you. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. Yep. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. Such a cool looking place. You will see me. I'm invisible. I'm Batman. There he is. He's so creepy! If I'd known you were gonna make me lug this thing myself, I would've worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. <laughs> Sassy. It's all here. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. They may have forced her. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. 
No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. Oh! You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Uh-oh. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. Hello. I surrender. Take me instead, and let her go. Oh, screw this. <laughs> I'm not that sort of damsel. Shit. Train's ready. Move up. Ah, balls. Already? I thought you had like a plan to do it in like a couple of days or something. Not right now. Oh. Oh, I'm playing for keeps right now, bitch. Ah. Uh. So many buttons! Ow! Don't hit Batman in his bad head! I'm a bat punch the shit out of you! Yeah! Oh yes! Catwoman, little help! Oh whoa! Hello! Get him! Ow! Oh shit! Don't get ahead of yourself. I decide when this ends. Oh, he's good. But not good enough! Okay, maybe good enough! That thing is awesome! I want one! You have to face the truth sometime, Beth. What the fuck? You can't protect Gotham from itself. Oh, I messed up. They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flame. You talk too much. You do a lot of talking. Not sure you can back it up. Try me. Go on. Show me how you'll save your precious city. With a dance off. He's gonna block them. I told you, but it looked cool. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Stuff is happening very fast! Ah! I almost got my superpower! Ow! 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 Dude, he's cool! And he got a super speed! Oh, I got it! I got it! It's time to... Oh, it's Mojo Town! So short sighted. Do it, do it, do it. What? What is it? See you later. Oh, that's cool. Nice! That was a cool shot! Uh-oh. Load up, load up, load up, load up, load up! Kaboomski! Well, he did say they packed a punch!
We could have went back to my place. I have a back computer. How does she know how that works? Ow. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. Why? <laughs> oh, it's got hurt in it. Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? <sighs> what? Showing up at that train depot, taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> I never pick a fight I can't win. Um, you didn't win against me. <laughs> I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? <laughs> Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? Whatever. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I was there tracking the children of Arkham. And I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was going to be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. There is another way out. We can take them down together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? The dynamic duo fighting crime. <laughs> Being serious. I know. Things have a habit of not working out for me on the duo front. Of course you have a cat. Well, look who's back. Oh. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. Well then. Okay, she really doesn't like you. <laughs> hey, I promise I don't bite. Yeah, but she does. <laughs> hey, cut it out. Leave me alone. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> no. You think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. You're wrong. There are good people out there. Honest people. Care to introduce me to one? <laughs> um... Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see? Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. Except the bad guys. Better than most. <laughs> You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. That's not all you are. I think that's just what you want people to believe. You put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see nothing. So you get back out there. Hey, kitty. Try and chase that feeling down. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Mm. 
Aww. Thanks, Bats. Hmm. Kiss her forehead. I was hoping for something more than that. <laughs> There we go. That's it. Yes. That's what we're all been waiting for. There it is. We did it, folks. We did it. I actually didn't know if I wanted it to happen or not. I was kind of holding off on it for a while, but. I'll make it up to you. Oh, the hair's coming down. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you going to undo this for me? I want to watch you. Oh God, that's creepy. Let me help you. Mm. That's why you do best, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? <sighs> the fact that this is interactive is kind of creepy. It's like when you're watching TV and a sex scene comes on with your parents in the same room and you're like... <laughs> Cat's just like, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> well then! Morning. Rise and shine. Not yet. I'm starving. There's a joke there that I'm not gonna make. <laughs> well, I guess that means I'm making breakfast. Wow. You even know how to work a toaster, rich kid? I am offended. Oh, too bad. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. A bagel! We we'll definitely check expiration Two bagel. dates on anything. Before you think about putting it in your mouth. So many innuendos. <clears throat> What's going on? Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. Nice package, I bro. From you. I didn't know what happened if I uh, took a bit of a beating when I ran to the children of Arkham. What happened? It's kind of a long story. I'll tell you about it when I get back. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh, I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. <laughs> Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream Alfred's it. jealous. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find. She's great around. in bed, Alfred. <laughs> you may not have another chance. I trust her, Alfred. I almost missed it. That's all I need to know. If you're sure, at the very least, you can find that <laughs> grapple gun of yours. <laughs> right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. <laughs> uh, bloop. Nice, look at me all sexy. Look at this package. Look at his butt. Batman's got a great bat butt. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. <laughs> Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Didn't you see her last night? Oh, the Guido Govinda. That's mm. academic. Don't judge. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating junk. Again, don't judge. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. How does it even work if it has like a big giant magnet on it and then it just has wheels to pull you up? 
You can't just like pull with little tiny friction wheels, getting up on a giant magnet like that. Whatever. See what I mean? Oh, maybe the magnets are on the wheels. Ooh, that'd be cool. I'm not gonna steal it. Lucius can make something like that. My gadget guy is better than yours! She can afford to eat anywhere and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even a good place. Dude, Chinese food is awesome. I love Chinese food. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. How did she get in? That's what she said to you last night. Oh, up top! Woo! <laughs> the jokes are there and I'm gonna make them. Leave me alone. There it is. I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. I'm not gonna look at the fridge. You don't look at a fridge, you look into the fridge. Two bagel. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. And that's always good. You don't want blue mold on it. At least she's got the essentials. Bagels and cream cheese is pretty damn good. Expecting someone? <laughs> so fucking silly. Uh, Harvey. Hey, I uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. Shut up, cat! If you want me to go, I'll go. I messed it up. I messed it up. But I messed it up. I have to get this out, oh. Bruce. What the? I'm. Oh. What are you doing here? Fuck! Shit! No, oh! I don't need to sit down, Bruce. Tell me what is going on. I spent the night here. That's it. You. You. I can't believe this. Don't. Don't touch me. Uh oh. I thought I would come here and. So stupid. God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? None of this is about you, Harvey. What, so I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it. No. No. Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! No. Harvey. Now you've got two seconds. <laughs> what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? Harvey, you are our friend. We don't want to fight you. And what if I do? Ah, balls. Jesus, Harvey. Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No, no, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Ah, oh, balls, ah, oh, balls. You swear to me! He's getting in the middle of things. That's what I do! Stay the hell away. I got in the middle of her things! Oh! Shit! Harvey! Ow! 
Bruce, my one face! No! I don't want to hurt you! We can't all have two faces like you can! Oh shit. Harvey, put the knife down! Selena! He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> We're gonna wear him down. We're not gonna kick the shit out of him. You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Dude, I'm like Bruce Lee! Kip! Ow! Come on, Harvey! I didn't even do anything! I just looked at him and he fell over! Oh, God. Please. I don't want to be low, Bruce. <laughs> Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. You need to get help. You can't deal with this on your own. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> So much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come Jesus back. Jesus Christ! I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding? Yeah. See, the cat gets the joke. That means you too. We won't go far. Stay in my house! Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Uh oh. Is that a good or a bad? Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event. Oh, today. yeah. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. Ooh, it's getting juicy, bro! This is cool! And so far, this is a longer episode than the last one. The last one was only like an hour long. So, good deal! I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've, uh, We've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. Uh, and then good. I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. Maybe it's not a different voice actor. He actually sounded similar there. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. Oh. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. 
a step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Mm. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? Let's go get I him, don't chums! Think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well deserved comeuppance. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. <laughs> it's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Should I expose them? Please. Oh! Stick to the teleprompter. I think it's time to mess shit up, bro! Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Hi, Vicky! Isn't it funny. And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me? Taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear. Oh, not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. I know who you really are, Oz. And I'm gonna expose you. Oh, knowing and proven are two very different things, Bruce. This is just a first step towards making things. Now he sounds like the same voice actor. It'll be. Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Nah, dude. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. Just tell me. I have to know. Nah, uh, uh, that's not what I asked. Ah. Pretty please. Yeah. I fucking hate when people do that. Turns out your dear mum found out what your daddy was up to. Threatened to turn him in, she did. She said she didn't want to be a part of it. Now you can imagine, Hill wasn't too keen on that idea. So he slid a few dollars Joe Chill's way and, well, you saw the rest, mate. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. Oh, God. I'm not like my father. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you. But I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. Fuck this, I'm going all out on this. I worry for the future of Wayne Enterprises. The decisions made in the next few days will be critical in shaping what that future will be. That's not really a, Careful, Bruce. It's not really a ghastly um thing to react to. I worry. <gasps> Oswald is a fraud. Fuck that guy. Oh no, this one. Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? My replacement, Oswald Cobblepot, is a member of the Children of Arkham. <laughs> they control his every move. Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Peace out, bitches! <laughs> nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. 
I just didn't think it'd be you. It's not an easy thing, being something you've come to have as part of your identity. Dropped your pen. You're very sad. That's not <laughs> taken <laughs> over by another. I should know. I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the former beauty of Cosmo You feel that? Park. Now That's the drug taking hold of you. And forgotten. A you. testament to the terrible You're with the children of Arkham. We've no, I the am the children of Arkham. Something that has affected so I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Bitch! Mocking you, the smug, insignificant bastard. Cock! He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the oh. hour, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? No! No! Oh! Oh! The twist! The turns! What's gonna happen next? Oh man! See more of your traces online, sign up for Telltale. I am logged in! Refresh! Come on! No! Damn it! Fuck! I want to see what other choices people made! After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old oh. friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham citizens deserve to be safe. I has a fucking gun. They deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? Son, it was good. It, I was worried about it there in the middle because it's it had dragged on a little bit, and I was worried that where it was going like wouldn't reach a satisfying outcome. Like after, I thought when he went back to Selena's place and it would end with them like going to bed together. I didn't think there was going to be a whole like other section after that. Ooh, juicy! So Vicky Vale, she's the one in the the outfit. She's the children of Arkham leader. She's Lady Arkham. I don't know who that is. I've never heard that of that character before. So I'm have to brush up if that's an actual character in the Batman his or in the Batman universe, like through the comics or whatever. So, ooh, interesting. That's cool. Or maybe maybe that's not the full story yet. Um, maybe maybe there's more to it. Maybe maybe she's Clayface. Is isn't that what Clayface does? He like turns into the other people. I don't know. We, we'll see what happens. But that was episode three. That was a good one. This is shaping up very nicely. Now the next one is uh, there'll be episode four and five. Episode four will be out in a couple of months, so I look forward to that. And then episode five will wrap it all up. So the next one I imagine is just going to be set up. The next episode I don't expect a whole lot to happen in the next one. So interesting. This has been a very good series so far. The, these episodes of the Batman game, I, I'm really impressed with it. And I'm really glad the way they're taking certain things. I know a lot of die-hard Batman fans might not like a lot of the stuff that's going on in it, but me personally, I, I really like it. So anyway, thank you for being here. And uh, if any of you sat through the entire thing, thank you. You now can go and flourish and be with the rest of humanity again, once and for all, um, and go get yourself some food. <laughs> I'm starving, I need to get some food, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and I've always all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Well, thank you guys and I will see all you dudes. Oh, it's so 
juicy! I knew not to trust Vicky from the very beginning. I didn't really, but we didn't anyway. 